dollars for my car, for my bike, for everything. Just a few more dollars, dollars. All right. Here we have here we have the engine. <laughs> Good looking engine. And it, I believe it's an aluminium case. So a Brazilian aluminium case SSP. Right, what I'm gonna do, I'm fitting, I'm fitting all the tin tinware and doghouse. And doghouse, and this is how it starts. Uh, this is on the right hand side, it's cylinder one or two. This goes on here. We've got a bit of panel beating to do there and a bit of stiffening up. It's not bad, but it's all right. And then this one, I've scuffed that one, uh, just filling that hole. And there was a pinhole there, a bit of support around there. Um, I'll, I'll be uh, limishing that up. And that's dog ears gone there, so I've got to weld in a dog ear. So we'll put this one in. That's in there like that. Now I grab the dog house. Uh, the dog ears, look, see they got the ears on like a dog, dog house, there we have it, so it goes over the oil cooler here, just put that in there like that, put that in there, put that in there, that one's in, this one's in. So it's all uh, it's all getting scuffed up nicely. You can see traits of pink under there. So I'm going to paint a trendy colour. And we're making sure this there's no interference. But what I want to say is I've tack welded these dog ends and I made them perfectly round so you can slide over your heater hose on both of them, uh, the fresh air hose, and then I'll weld it up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight holes on the front and put in two brand new tabs here. See these tabs? 50 mil long, one mil plate, 10 mil wide. New tabs never break off. After 50 years of backwards and forwards, they get a bit thin and they snap off. So, <laughs> and then on the back, I've filled in these ones on the plate. This one, this one, this one, and another two, and another three over here. So, so totally seal it up. Um, if I if I need a hole, because I filled up two spark plug clip holes, I only realised that after I filled them in and one accelerator hole, so it only needs one accelerator. If I need them later, I'll just drill it. Piece of cake. So, um, pre-fit, then paint. Always pre-fit and paint, only if you've got time. Uh, this is quite high end, so <laughs> who, who's who got time to do all this? Me. I haven't got dog ears, have I? But this thing's a dog house. Look at it, look at it, come on. So it's looking good, it's gonna be primo. All right, here we have the front pulley. It's a bit scuffed up and, and that sort of thing. Uh, I think I can use it, but I have to get it off because I wanna pull this tinware off and I did have it tipped on 45 degree angle and oil come out. Now, I don't know where oil comes out of the front. It didn't come out, it didn't come out of any of these holes, but I'm suspecting it come out uh, behind the pulley uh, nut and there's a seal behind there. So what I'm thinking, change the seal. While I'm at it, change the seal. So that means I'll have to get a puller. Hopefully this weekend I can um, procure a puller. So pull it off, put a new seal on there and then scuff all the tinware up and, and paint it and then we'll be, 
we'll be laughing. That's it. fellow peers. <laughs> oh jeez, yeah, we could do with a, an extra coffee, but yeah, that's coming. So here we have it. It's called a dog house, okay, a dog house. Uh, I spent a bit of time on it. I filled in about 12 holes. I actually filled in the spark like holes, as I said, but I can always drill. I can always drill it. A little bit shorter paint here, but not bad. Uh, overall it's come up a treat and that's been baked in front of the fire again everything gets baked and if you want to know how hard it gets try it it's two pack it's got activator in it but when you bake it oh my gosh you know I'm sanding the other I'm sanding the other pieces <laughs> outside at the moment and I thought oh they really baked I baked the primer 2k primer so um, plenty to do I think there's about 30 pieces that I've got to paint. Um, oh, I just remembered this one. I'll just go get it. What do you want? I'm having a good time. I'm free. I'm a free man. Don't tell the missus. Right, this one here is the generator. Um, the newer ones have alternators, and uh, alternators is alternative current, and generator is direct current. So this is the older school, I'm sticking with that. Underneath here, underneath here, I've cleaned it all up, and on the outside I'll be doing the two-pack, or, or mint condition course, uh, hard as anything. Uh, this one I haven't baked, I'm not gonna bake that one, until, uh, until I get the black on it, but, one thing, one thing I did uh, buy from Argus is an iron, and the iron is is for the logo to replace this. What's that? Regatta. So, so that one I want to replace that iron on. So I bought an iron, and uh, the the missus keeps asking for the ironing board, but uh, I I don't want to come clean. I just. I tell the camera crew, but not the missus, you know, she's just... <laughs> anyway, I've got some parts over here. This... Ah, oh, this is... Yeah. Well, she doesn't come down here much, so she won't see the... <laughs> the hiding boards here. But she's not getting it back, no way. Absolutely, absolutely no way. Absolutely no way. But anyway, here's, here's the next load of parts I've got to do. So these are called the heat exchanger. So that one there's the left one, and this is the right one. There's the pulley. I made a, a pulley extractor. Been a, a a tool maker. I just just knocked up a bit of thing. Yeah, and and you can pull them off. Don't put aluminium ones on. Keep to the steel because the aluminium can pick up and destroy your engine. All right. Of course, this one here's done. If you have a look, there's a lot of pickling. Right. I just got to wash it a bit. Uh, probably a little bit there, but uh, other than that, it's a bit of surface rust, got to weld that. And that's one of the front backing plates. I haven't done the other one. I said I was going to do it. But I've been doing a lot of other things, uh, painting. And there's the, uh, there's the right heat exchanger. And I'm going to clean all these up. And these are going to be uh, gloss, gloss grey. It's not silver, it's grey. But uh, we're off to a... Um, swap meet tomorrow so I'm gonna ask him I'm gonna ask him what the grey is called what colour is it because I want to get 
roughly the right color because then it'll pop it'll make it look good and there's a lot of things to have down there okay all right plenty of parts here you've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve to be painted right i'm doing those ones at the moment make sure they're all straight and clear but as you can see here this is called a heel a heel dolly now when i want to straighten a, a part up what i do is i put that up there and i can straighten it like that on a little vice here and i can straighten it out of course you're going to see this side so i, I wanted that reasonable there and uh, of course this stuff is hard it's not going to come off i don't have to scrape in there i don't have to sand in there to get a good result I've, and I've, I've beefed up these edges all these edges here so it doesn't wobble so much there it's quite strong actually see so that's that one so i've got the pulley pulley shroud i've got the deflectors there that's the shooter for the uh, out of the air cleaner uh, to get fresh air and then these are the back of the uh, the doghouse. And I think from memory, uh, I think they go something like that. Goes like that. Neat, huh? And there's a seal that goes on there. I've got the seal. And I'll be painting all them gloss black, of course. And, and this is the front, the front cow. And this is the back one. Um, these ones. If you haven't looked at the embedded rust in there, there's a bit of work. So hopefully tomorrow at the swap meet, if they have some better ones there for five or ten pounds, I'll pick those up. There'll be less work, uh, even though these are good. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> I'll come good, mate. It was just a bit of um, a lot of no, so it's a little bit of stuff up the nose, you know, a little bit of dust from the sanding this morning, maybe. But that's why I chose to work outside. It's pretty pleasant, 10 degrees here, quite overcast, but I think it's time to get a, a frothy coffee, okay? Do you want to come with me for a ride? Everyone loves a frothy coffee. Yeah. <laughs>